hey everyone and welcome back to play fusion so today again we are back with a job notification right so oil india limited has just posted a job notification for gate c grade b and grade a posting right in assam so you have to understand that the all this post right are in assam right all are uh, applied in assam and like whichever location they may want later like they, they can switch it that is uh, totally on them oil india limited right so yeah let's uh, get to the detailed notification right so these are not for you guys these are for the uh, medical people right these are for the engineering people so here this is for whom this is who have done their bachelor's degree in environmental engineering and that should be a, of minimum four years so bachelor's degree should should be of minimum four years or they have done their btech from any other branch and they have done their mtech in uh, this environmental engineering right then they will be also eligible for this particular post but for this post uh, they have like obc and sc so general people uh, they don't have any seats in this post right so now let's go to the chemical right or like this is for the post graduate not for engineering people now let's go to the uh, electrical people right so electrical people if i see that uh, they have like uh, two uh, general people and like obc and you can see the posting right here if you have a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering just uh, note that if you have a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering with minimum of, of 65 percent marks so your marks should be of 65 percent or uh, you convert your CGPA to your uh, percentage, right? They, they, your university or your college will give you some formula. You convert that to your uh, percentage, right? And if it comes to be more than 65%, then you're eligible, else you're not. So just be careful about that, right? So, or you have like these, these uh, they have excluded few branches, electrical and electronics engineering, electrical communication engineering, electronics and instrumentation engineering. So just be careful. If you have a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering only, then only you are eligible, right? Else you are not eligible, okay? So yeah, this is about the senior officer electrical role, right? And this is for grade B, right? Grade B, grade B, the pay scale is 60,000 to 180,000, right? And these are uh, like uh, for other uh, uh, departments, mechanical, if you're from mechanical branch, then also you're eligible, excluding all these branches, right? So here they have huge number of posts, right? 27 number of posts for uh, UR people and also for other uh, 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 people also. So also if you have a bachelor's degree in IT, right? IT, then also you're eligible, right? For this scientific uh, senior officer uh, of information technology, right? great pay same and also like mm, the seats are also good right so again if you come to this uh, like for ec people right they have also 10 seats here okay uh, not not 10 this is like the subject code 10 here right they have good amount of uh, seats here so you can uh, see this and like if if you are from like you, you have to have minimum four years of bachelor's degree right from electronics and communication or electronics and telecommunication engineering with minimum of of 65 percent marks right so but what branches are excluded here electrical and communication uh, engineering electronics and instrumentation engineering applied all these things right they are all excluded so just be careful about that okay just be careful about that so like uh, who are from ec right they can they can choose this one who are from electrical they can choose this one right so mainly like our subscribers you i think are electrical ec and in so both of uh, you guys right can choose between any of these two i mean electrical people will choose that one senior electrical and electronics uh, people will choose this one right so uh, other things are here petroleum geologists all these things are here right so the these are for different uh, like uh, qualifications so you are not eligible for that right so like all this is fine there is also one this confidential secretary okay if you have some diploma or something then you could apply obviously like uh, our subscribers aren't from here so i expect that you would not be applying from here okay just uh, like uh, this, uh, this is for the grade c grade b post i have al already told you about right so yeah uh, like also one senior officer hsc post is there right hsc post is there so you can apply if you have bachelor's degree in environmental engineering of minimum four years with minimum of this uh, amount of marks or like bachelor's degree in any branch right and if i've done your mtech through environmental engineering so if you have done your mtech through environmental engineering or if you have done your btech through environmental engineering then you can apply for this post okay so yeah this one was for this one now like uh, let's go like all these things you should keep in mind that if you have done your bachelor's degree right you should be of it's the duration should be of minimum four years and like if you have done your postgraduate that is the m tech right then minimum duration of the course should be of two years okay uh, uh, less than that you are not eligible okay so yeah that is this now experience this is not needed this is only for like uh, that grade c post right grade c and grade, this two posts you are not anyways applying for that right so like and for other gadget courses your minimum each like minimum duration can be three years but for engineering which our subscribers are which you i hope you are right so 
you like it should be minimum four years so i am expecting it is all um, it is four years only so yeah now uh, that is it for this one now what educational qualifications you should have right all these are given here just read through this like 10 class all these things right and there is no upper age limit like for the internal candidates but the upper age limit is for uh normal candidates is there right if i can like see it over here okay this is like age relations are provided for these people so just check uh check all this right and you can uh you will be able to understand whether you are eligible or not according to the upper age limit right so what are the pay and allowances obviously you will get like whatever government employees get right basic pay uh, like all these things hra all these things you will get and approximately according to the grade right your pay will be like this per month okay per month your pay will be around this so total uh, 120000 like which you will most probably be applying grade b right you will get 120000 uh, like uh, after taxes it will obviously get reduced right so but uh, 120000 which uh, oil india limited will give it to you for grade b post right so just keep that in mind and application fees is there right 500 plus uh, whatever taxes is there and for other people right sc st obc it is need okay now just keep this in mind once you pay the application fee right it is non refundable so it is non refundable application fee okay also like one more thing i forgot to mention here is that you, this salary right it will uh, there will be some fixed annual increment right so in government uh, jobs what happens there is always some fixed annual increment so yeah this will increase over that right percentage some 3% or something right so yeah now what is the selection process what is the selection process what is the pattern right so the selection process is basically a computer based test right computer based test and like uh, first there there will be two phases right first phase is cbt okay then there is personal interview and this time right you have to obviously in brc what i told i told that cbt and personal interview has no relation but here it has right so first you have to qualify the cbt what is the qualifying marks 50% for general obc and ews and 40% for scst and P, uh, pwd right so uh, that is the qualifying marks you have to qualify the cbt then you are eligible for sitting in the personal interview okay so then you sit in the personal interview right and then you give the interview and then uh, what happens is they will uh, give you a final merit list okay final merit list and in that merit list right uh, like your marks will be like this one okay so this has like 85% weightage and 15% weightage so let's say out of 100 right you score 80 80 in this uh, cbt right and uh, out of 15 marks you score 10 so 80 times 0.85 right plus 10 times 0.15 whatever this comes out this is your total marks okay this is your total marks out of how much out of 115 okay out of 115 so then the final merit list will come out and according to that uh, you um, like it uh, they will decide whether you will get selected for that post or not okay so just keep this in mind so it doesn't obviously have any qualifying marks because like you are on the interview itself okay so yeah this is uh, about the uh, selection process right? what is the selection process of the post right now uh, like uh, this is like same for this is for grade uh, this was for grade a and this is for grade b they are same okay for grade, grade c it is different but uh, you are not anyways giving grade c so you don't care about grade c right grade c it is a bit different there is some skill test also you are not giving grade c so it doesn't matter then like all this comes right then like uh, you have to have some physical fitness like those uh, applications you have to give right so just uh, check which application you have to give now during verification just check which uh, like uh, verification like certificates you have given you have to provide the, those right so to bring those during your personal interview and stuff so all this you have to do and one more important point is that like there is a service bond that you need to sign if you are uh, you, like if you are in the grade b right if you are applying for the grade b there is a 3 years of service bond right minimum 3 years of service service bond that you need to sign so just be uh, like uh, prepare for that right just be prepared for that uh, so there yeah, there is a bond just keep, do keep in note and posting right as i told earlier right so oil will decide where you are posted right so you, you you can get transferred to any other wherever oil is operating oil india limited is operating you can uh, get posted there right where it it's up to them basically so what are the general uh, instructions basically right so uh, you have to obviously be indian indian national right so like paper application will not be ent- entertained right so all these things you uh, read and like uh, you can apply they, uh, they have also shown the visuals of how to apply for the post i will show you so this 10th class certificate all these things are needed right so just uh, keep this in mind and as i told right you cgpa you have to convert it into percentage and then check whether you are eligible or not or not that 65% is the minimum amount of uh, overall marks that you need to have right for you to be eligible so yeah just keep this in mind so calculation formula will be provided by your in university or your college right just uh, do check out look out for that so yeah that is this one 
so also if you are opera- or like uh, if you are already in some government psc or something you have to produce a no objection certificate from your employer right from from your manager or something so from your employer you have to provide your no noc so that you can apply for this post right that is important so just read uh, all these things so yeah this is uh, about this one now like let's uh, read about few cut off dates yeah this is the cut off date so last date of application is 29th Ju- uh, january 2024 so you should apply it uh, instantly right so else you will be not be able to apply after this date so very very important right and how to apply just go to this website i will uh, provide the link to this website in the uh, in the description also i will provide the detailed notification in our telegram group so do join our telegram group named prefusion okay do join our telegram group named prefusion so there you will get all this uh, news right so yeah now you have to valid email id mobile number all these things you have to have right and you can edit your uh, stuff so just uh, look uh, at this notification on what size you have to up, uh, upload photograph all these things i hope you can do it by yourself right also like these are the important date just keep this in mind that the start of the uh, like posting has d- uh, been done in 5th of uh, uh, january basically and now like it will be uh, on until until last submission is 29th of january so do fill up before that very important to fill up before that here th- they have provided how to apply so here visually they have provided you go into the website and you click on the register now then after register now you like enter your valid mobile number email id then you click proceed right then you enter all this then you have to select for which post you are applying so if you're from electrical engineering mainly like there, there are two posts which i believe our subscribers would apply right so electrical engineering if you are from then you, have, you will apply for the electrical engineering post right senior officer electrical engineering okay senior officer electrical you will apply for this one and if you are from uh electronics and communication engineering then you, you will apply this one senior officer electronics and communication engineering okay then just fill up this one and you will just uh, proceed along of how, how how they have told you you just proceed so yeah that's a very short video like i wanted to tell you guys that oil india limited has uh, obviously uh, posted their job notification so do apply if uh, any of you want to work in government job right so yeah thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video